What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have Fate Gear. Yes, indeed. How about that? Fate Gear making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bot, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from SMB, and this is actually SMB's prioritized request for the month of March for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, SMB. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Um, SMB wanted to see me react to this song by Fake Gear called Unbreakable Wings. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a minute, wait a minute, I recognize this song, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Fate Gear, okay? And the video has 328,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Unbreakable Wings YouTube edit. Oh boy. Fate Gear, the all female steampunk metal band. Okay, well, that, I, I know what to look forward to now, I guess. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Okay. The vocals, I can't tell if those vocals are being layered. It sounds like they are. Like when, when she goes into her grit and growl voice, it sounds like there's melodic singing underneath it. Now, I don't know if that's a mix issue, like maybe that's done in post, or maybe her melodic undertones are just that strong that they're coming through with the grit and growl. If that's the case, Kudos to her. Holy smokes. Um, I am digging what I'm hearing. I am here for this all day long. Um, the, <laughs> kind of a loss for words here. 
there, there's nothing I'm hearing that is throwing me off. There's nothing that I'm hearing that is unappealing. There's nothing I'm hearing that sounds sour or out of place. Everything sounds great. Everything sounds great. Even the guitar sounds great. Um, I'm digging everything I'm hearing. Let's let's get back into this. Oh, Ooh, it's chunky. Seven. Modulation? Whoa, whoa, whoa! We have a modulation? We just changed key? Okay, I am loving these girls more and more. The more I'm hearing from these girls, the more I'm digging them. Uh, okay, let's see where they go with this modulation. Back to the original key. Wow. 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 <laughs> I... <laughs> okay. Uh Huh. Well. <laughs> I I <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. I me. <laughs> me. I I <laughs> What's the matter with you? I'm at a complete loss for words right now. You're a goddamn disgrace. I need to think. I I <sighs> God, I know what I want to say, but I, I can't get it out. Uh, lo okay, let me get my... Jesus, I don't believe this. Let me get my thoughts together. <laughs> God, and uh, I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Dear Lord. Well, there you go, folks. That was Fate Gear with Unbreakable Wings. This was a request from SMB, and this was actually SMB's prioritized request for the month of March for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, SMB. I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, okay. <sighs> I had to take a few minutes. And I, I don't mean like, when I say a few minutes, I, I don't mean like two or three. No, I mean like I had to take like seven minutes, like almost eight minutes to calm down <laughs> and 
Okay, breathe. And all right, let's let's stop geeking out. Let's 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 look at this objectively. Let's calm down and stop fanboying. And let's let's really look at this objectively. I'm I'm glad I did that because if I had not taken those minutes to do that, then I may have regretted giving the score that I'm about to give. And the last thing I ever want to do is regret giving a score because based on a knee-jerk reaction on, on emotion. I, I always want to make sure that when I give a score, it's objective, and I'm looking at it from all sides. I'm taking the good and weighing it against the bad. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do both. And I'm really glad I did that because when I give this score, it's going to make it's gonna make it seem, and it's gonna make it stand a lot stronger. On a scale of one to 10, I'm, I'm gonna give that a 9.2. Yup, 9.2, you heard me, I didn't stutter. That is the score that I feel this song deserves. Let me tell you why. Why? This was outstanding. Outstanding for a number of reasons. Um, first and foremost, the vocals. I am almost positive that is post-production. I am almost positive it is. The layering of the grit and growl with those melodic undertones. Those melodic undertones are coming through really strong. And if I'm being honest with you, I could actually hear the layering. I'm almost positive I could hear the layering being done. So it's post, okay? Now, having said that, I could, I could be wrong. I, I don't think I am, but I could be wrong. And the only way I'm gonna know for sure is to see them do this song in a live setting. If they can do this song in a live setting and have her do that on her own with no track, then okay, then I obviously obviously she can. But I have a feeling they use track. I have a feeling they do. Um, but even then, her vocals were nicely done. Really nicely done. The switching between the grit and growl and the clean vocals, very nicely done. I love the fact that she was not relying on vibrato like I've heard so many other female lead singers do, especially within the Asian community. I'm not gonna name any names, I'm not gonna point any fingers, but there have been a couple of, a couple of ladies in a couple of bands where the vibrato at times can be way over the top, and it's, to be honest with you, it's a little bit of a turnoff. I didn't hear like any vibrato from her. I mean, I, I heard a lot of flat line singing from her and I love that. I am absolutely here for that all day long. She's got a great voice. And on top of that, she's got some tremendous projection power. Uh, it was coming through clear in the mix. Now, obviously that's an engineering thing, I'm sure, but I have a feeling she can belt it. I have a feeling she can, she comes across as the kind of gal that can really and truly belt it out. That guitar player, whoo boy, the guitar tone that she was getting, that crunchy, thick, heavy guitar tone. Oh yes, I am here for that all day long. Yes, indeed, sounded fantastic. On top of that, some great picking work, uh, some great subdivision work on her part. Her solo sounded really nice. I've heard more technical solos from other guitar players, obviously, but what she did sounded just fine to me. I had no issue with it whatsoever. Um, a keytar. Why not? Why not? Why not have a keytar? Get that hippie out of the ring! Listen, I got no problem with it as long as it isn't a joke and as long as it's being done well. And she did both. She rocked out with that thing. It sounded really good. And I mean, coming out with that solo, first things first, I mean, that was really nice. You know, taking center stage in front of the guitar player. I thought that was really cool. Uh, now she is, she's a great, great piano player. And playing on that guitar, she rocked it out, man. Uh, the bass, couldn't really hear the bass in the mix, unfortunately. The bass kind of got dropped, uh, drowned out. But 
when the couple of times where the base did come through in the mix, I heard a, I heard a distortion patch on there. Now, I've said this as a warning to bass players in the past. When you use distortion, you cannot, as a bass player, you cannot use distortion like a guitar player does because it's a different register. There are different string widths. There are different pickups, different body styles, different woods. I mean, there's all these different things you gotta take into account. You cannot take a guitar distortion patch and use it like you do on a guitar and then just unplug the guitar and plug the bass in. It's gonna sound like crap. Um, she needs to work on her distortion patch a little bit. It was really muddy, like really muddy. Uh, I know she's playing with a pick. I can hear the pick scrape, but as far as the tone coming out, it was muddy. You I mean, it, it, you, you couldn't hear a, you could not hear a clear attack. It was so muddy, but I still liked her approach. I liked the idea of using the, 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 the distortion patch. And I think it could work. It just needs to be adjusted a little bit. That's all. But other than that, I mean, I, I think she did a fine job with it. Um, the drumming on this, whoo boy, some tight drumming, uh, like, I, I would dare say, a Akane tight, I, I would dare say that, I mean, that tight, uh, the drummer from Bandmade, very similar in style, uh, that tight, I, I was really impressed with the drumming, I think more than anything else, uh, the drumming is really what kind of sold this for me, uh, some great fills, great patterns, steady, like, you can set your watch to it steady. Uh, fantastic. I was never bored. There was never one time, but the second I clicked start to when the song ended, there was never a single second where I was bored. To all the non-believers. I never once looked at the clock and going, oh my God, how much longer is there to go? I never wondered how much longer the solo is gonna last. I never once wondered, you know, how much time is left in the song. Okay, that, that's a lie. I did wonder how much time was left in the song because I didn't want it to end. Um, the time flew on this song. It absolutely did. I was thoroughly entertained from start to finish. On top of that, what a great gimmick. What a great gimmick. Steampunk metal band. Why not? I've never seen one. Um, I, I think that's a great idea. Um, and I'm glad that they got it. I'm, I'm glad they, they took it and they, they took the lead on it. I think that's fantastic. A lot of things they can do with that. Anywhere from costume design to stage design uh, and, and production. There's a lot they can do with that. And I, I, I would love to see what these girls are going to do in a live setting. Um, I don't know how big these girls are. I, I don't know if they're a big band or if they're just getting started, or I, I i don't know what their popularity level is, but uh, I'm sure there are people who are big fans of fake gear. They're, they're, they're big fake gear uh, fans, and they're gonna be in the comments telling me all about them. Great, bring it on, please do, because I would love to know about these girls. I would love to see more of them on the channel. I would love to experience more of them. And this is a band I have a feeling I'm gonna need to go and see live. I have a feeling I don't know why, but something just tells me that these girls put on a great live show, and I, I need to see this. So, yeah, man, a 9.2. I was very impressed from start to finish, and there was nothing really that I had to complain about other than the distortion patch on the bass. That's it. Other than that, everything else I thought was gorgeous. I loved it. Loved everything about it, and that's why it's getting a 9.2. Now... For those fake gear fans who are brand new to the channel, you probably have no idea what a 9.2 is. Well, first of all, welcome to the channel. Secondly, a 9.2, <sighs> first of all, I don't give 10s. I, I, I don't give 10s. Getting a 10 for me is impossible, okay? um, The highest score I've ever given is a 9.9, .9, and I've only given that to one band, so. You know, hey, may, maybe Fate Gear will be the next band to get one down the road. Who knows? But uh, getting a nine, it, it's it's an amazing score. It's an outstanding score. And if you're not sure about that, take a look down below in the video description. You're going to see down there, go ahead and scroll down a little bit. You're going to find my scoring system chart. And you're going to see that 9.0 
to 9.9 .9 is, what does it say? Amazing, outstanding, impressive. Yes, uh, fantastic. All of those things, absolutely. To come out on your first time on the channel and get a nine point anything is not very common. It does not happen very often your first time out. I think there's only been like eight or nine bands that have done it. Um, and this is now one of them. So congratulations to, to, to Fate Gear for doing that. Loved it, loved everything about it, and I look forward to seeing more from these ladies. So 9.2, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.